So the reading today stems from Colossians 3.15, and it reads, And let our peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Again, that was Colossians 3.15, and that's where this reading from Jesus Calling um, derives from. So the letter reads, Learn to live from your true center in me. I reside in the deepest depths of your being, in internal, eternal, excuse me, in eternal union with your spirit. It is at this deep level that my peace reigns continually. You will not find lasting peace in the world around you, in circumstances, or in human relationships. The external world is always in flux, under the curse of death and decay. But there is a gold mine of peace deep within you, waiting to be tapped. Take time to delve into the riches of my residing presence. I want you to live increasingly from your real center, where my love has an eternal grip on you. I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. So again, that derives from Colossians 3.15. And I can't help but think about everything that we've gone through during the pandemic, um, when we went through the shutdown, and I really couldn't explain it. I even had friends ask me, like, how are you doing? Like, how are you not, like, basically stressed out or freaking out or, you know, suffering from anxiety or, like, how do you seem to still have joy? And you know what? This this explains it, you know, and, and I knew that within my heart, but I didn't know how to explain it, how to put words to it. And you know what? It is the peace comes from Christ within me. It's He's in my heart. He is my my being and why I'm here and why I'm able to stay in peace, right? Is because of Him. And we are called to live in peace and always be thankful. So I hope that encourages you today, whether we're walking through valleys, you know, or climbing the tallest mountain today, whatever we're facing, that we look to Him and we find that peace and be thankful for those circumstances because in those hard times, in those valleys and in those mountains that we face, we grow our faith, right? And we grow closer to God. So today I invite you on your mat, we're gonna do some yoga bodies today. I invite you to experience his peace. Even though when we get up off the mat and we're flowing and you know, certain postures and positions become hard and not as easy as it is to do something more simple for our bodies that we, that we look to Him and that we find peace in those postures and posture our heart towards Him today, okay? So we're laying down nice and easy, legs out long, and just settle in for a few more moments here and have a moment with Him. Say a short little prayer in your heart to him. Find some space here. Clear the mind. And just settle in. And set your intention for today. Maybe you say a short prayer and just ask the Lord, like, what is it that I need to focus on today? Where in my life am I not accepting your peace? Where am I not at peace with? And maybe that's something that that you and the Lord can focus on today together. So take a few more breaths here, inhaling and exhaling out the nose. And maybe your, your intention is peace. Maybe it is just that simple word. Whatever it is. Utilizing that word of intention throughout your practice today, and maybe carry it throughout your day and your weekend ahead. A couple more breaths, settling the body, settling the mind. And then when you're ready, let's inhale, take those arms up overhead for that big, good morning stretch, reaching those arms, reaching those legs, lengthening the body. And then exhale, bring those arms down to your sides, 
Bring those feet to the mat and take those feet nice and wide today. Wide as the mat and just a couple nice hammock sways side to side. Good. And then gradually go ahead and bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug this morning. You can hold on to the thighs or the shins and gently option to rock side to side if that feels good. And remember, just listen to your body. So if there are any postures or positions that just don't feel good today, by all means, you do not have to do them. All right, bring those knees above the hips. Knees are bent 90 degrees, and you're going to lift the head up into your C curve. We're starting in our hundreds today because we are going to get that breath flowing and warm up that core. So arms are out nice and strong. You're going to pump them like you're pumping through really thick mud. Here we go. Inhale for two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, halfway, exhale, belly button pulled in and up, good, exhale again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale, good job, nice and safely set that head down, bring those knees into the chest and hug it out, Woo. good, hopefully warming you up from the inside out, yes? Gently rock side to side. All right, starting our morning off with some Pilates this morning. All right, come on back up into that C curve. Bring that right knee in, left leg out nice and long. Inhale, coming into our single leg stretch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Good, six more. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Bring both knees in. Rest the head. And rock side to side. We're going to do that single leg stretch on the other side. And remember with the Pilates moves, we're exhaling out the mouth with control, but with some power. <sighs> All right. When you're ready, head up, C curve. Left knee in. Right leg out nice and long. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. Four. Three. Belly in. Two. And one. Beautiful job. Rest the head. Hold on to those legs. Rock side to side. Woo. Probably warmed up pretty quickly, as I know I am. <laughs> Holding on to those thighs, let's draw, draw some circles with those knees. Opening up the knees out, around, and in. Out, around, and in. Good. And then reverse directions. Good. About three or four times or so. And then you'll bring those knees in. Hug it out one more time. Beautiful job. And let's draw some circles on those knees with the knees together. And reverse directions. All right, taking those hands behind the thighs here in between the knees, creases, separating those knees about two fist distance or maybe a little bit more. And we're going to rock forward and back on that spine. Nice and gently come on up. And you can do it about three or four times if that feels good to you on your spine. You'll inhale back, exhale up. Good. Inhale, exhale. Eventually making your way into a simple seated position, legs out in front, I'm going to face you here. All right, so toes towards you, seated nice and tall, inhale, arms up, exhale, bring the arms out in front, good, inhale again, and then exhale, chin to the chest, belly button in, coming into our spinal stretch here, reaching for those toes. Inhale at the bottom, and then exhale, roll it on up. Shoulders down and back, head is last to rise. Beautiful. Two more times here, and take your time. You're really trying to articulate that spine here. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth, chin to the chest, belly in. 
reaching for those toes. Inhale, and then exhale, roll it on up. Good, one more time, inhale, exhale, chin to the chest. Reach for those toes, inhale again, and then exhale, roll it on up. Ooh, beautiful job. All right, my friends, nice and deeply come into a tabletop position, coming into our traditional cow-cats here. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Make sure the knees and feet have about two fist distance space here. All right, nice and strong. Remember to practice those suction cups with the hands, dispersing the energy throughout the knuckles and the outer edges of those palms. From here, from our nice strong tabletop, we're gonna allow the belly to fall. Tailbone lifts, crown of the head lifts, coming into your cow posture. And then exhale, belly button reaches for the spine. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone under, into your cat back. Two more times, and you can go at your own pace here. Inhaling up, and exhale, cat back. At least one more time. Inhale, scoop it up, and exhale, cat back. Good job. Toes together, knees can be together or apart. Send the hips back, coming into your child's pose. Rest the head here. You may also use a block or a pillow or a rolled up blanket if you need to for a pillow if needed. Nice deep breaths. Maybe rock that forehead side to side. Give that forehead a nice little massage. Good. On your next exhale, let's walk those hands over to the right. Hands can touch or stack. And you're gently pressing that left hip slightly back. Opening up that side body, breathing here, noticing the rib cage. Good. One more deep breath, and then nice and gently come back to center. Inhale at the center, and then exhale over to the left. Hands touch or stack, and then gently press that right hip back this time, resting the head on the mat. Good. One more deep breath. And nice and gently come back to center. And then come on up into your tabletop when you're ready. All right? Adjust those table legs. Now, remember, I told you about your suction cups with your hands. Don't forget, you can gently press into the tops of the feet, too, to kind of alleviate any extra pressure in the knees here. We're going to come into our Pilates bird dogs, okay? So nice and evenly disperse through those table legs. Let's take the right arm up like you're going to shake somebody's hand and then take the left leg back, okay? Lengthen, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Give me six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, inhale, lengthen, and then gently release those table legs back down. Give me one cow cat, inhale, scoop it up. And exhale, cat back. Beautiful job, tabletop. We'll do bird dogs on the other side. Inhale, left arm lifts, right leg back. And make sure you're nice and even in those two table legs on the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good job, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Inhale, lengthen, and then reset back into that tabletop. Give me one cow cat. Inhale, scoop it up. And exhale, cat back. Good job. Toes together. Child's pose of your choice. Freedom to try the different styles of child's pose and find what works best for you. Breathe. Come back to that intention today. Good job. One more deep breath. And then when you're ready, come on up to that tabletop. Now we are going to come up off the mat today. Um, if down dog and the wrist just become too much of an issue, you can come down to the forearms. But again, if it just seems too much, you can just skip it all together if you need to, okay? All right, so from here, we're going to tuck the toes, hips up, down dog. 
Remember to practice those suction cups with the hands. Elbows rotate in. Shoulder blades down and back. So the spine is in alignment here. So we might need to bend the knees a little bit more when we first start out. Because we might be a little stiff at first. And then you'll start to walk the dog. Loosening up here. Reaching one heel to the floor and then the other. And maybe you kind of wag the tail a little bit side to side. Good. All right, inhale, and then exhale. You bend those knees as much as you need to and walk those hands back to meet the feet. Beautiful, coming into your forward fold at the back of your mat, let the head hang heavy here. Now, if you cannot reach the floor comfortably, you can use a block or a pillow or a towel, roll the towel if you have one, a big, a big towel, or you can grab opposite elbows, okay? Let the head hang heavy, shake it out, yes. Shake it out, no. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, and then inhale, reverse swan dive. So the head lifts first, hands up, and exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, swan dive, forward, forward fold. Beautiful job. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Come on down into your high push-up plank. Remember, you can drop to those knees if we need to. And then nice and safely come all the way down to the mat to start. And we'll inhale, take the head up, chest up into our baby cobra. Good, so the hands are nice and light here, if not elevated off the floor. Try not to squeeze the glutes, or you may also come into sphinx pose where the elbows are under the shoulders, hands out in front. So that's where you start with your back bend. We'll gradually progress, so just listen to that lower back today. One more deep breath, and then nice and gently bring the chest, push up, hips up, down dog, pedal it out. Good, breathe. Now again, if down dog at any time is just too much today, you just hang out in child pose or dolphin pose on the forearms and then you meet us in our forward fold when you're ready. On your next exhale, walk those hands back to those feet, coming into your forward folds. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Head lifts, hands up. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, take the left hand to center. Now, of course, if you can't reach the mat, you can have the hand on, on the shin if you need to. Right arm lift, so a little bit of a twist here. So forward fold with a twist, bending the knees as much as you need to, or lifting up that, that hand on the floor as much as you need to. Breathe. You may also bend the left knee slightly if you need to. Try both, try it straight, try it bent. If it's bent, you can twist a little bit farther. Nice and gently come back to center. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Right hand to center. Inhale, left arm lifts. Right knee slightly bends. And breathe. Good. One more deep breath. And nice and gently come back to center. Take your time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Walking those hands out. Remember, you can drop to the knees if you need to right away. Now, you're going to come into baby cobra, sphinx pose, or if you're ready, you'll go into a push-up and push yourself up into a full back bend into your cobra or pressing into those tops of those feet to lift the thighs for upward dog. Now, listen to your body. Make sure you're not dumping into the wrists here. Use those suction cups, pushing into those fingers and knuckles. Beautiful. One more deep breath. Nice and gently tuck the toes, hips up. Down dog, pedal it out. Or child's pose, depending on what you need today. Good job, we're gonna do that one more time. One more time, my friends, one more time. Inhale, and then exhale nice and safely. Walk those hands back to those feet, coming into that forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Head lifts. Exhale, back bend. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hanging out here for a moment, my friends. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bending those knees, getting that chest as close to the thighs as you can, and wrap those arms around those legs. 
and then let the head hang heavy. And then decide if you want more here, you'll start to lift the hips up, but keeping the chest as close to those thighs as you can. Breathe, relax the shoulders. One more deep breath, and then nice and gently lower the hips, release the hug of the legs, send the hips back up into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, and then walk it out into your high push-up plank, and your choice of chaturanga, your choice of back bend. Choose what's best for you for today. Every day is different, right? Tuck the toes, hips up, down dog. Pedal it out. <clears throat> Wag the tail. Good. Happy dogs. Noticing that your dog is a little bit more warmed up. Beautiful. Inhale nice and tall on those tippy toes. Exhale slowly. Lower those knees all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes. Child pose. Option to bring those hands into a, a prayer stance and bend at the elbows, taking the hands behind the head for a little tricep stretch. Just an option for you. Breathe. Good. One more deep breath. And then nice and gently come on up. Beautiful job. Flipping it around onto our back side. Crisscross applesauce if you can. Feel free to sip your water. I'm a little parched today, so I'm going to have a sip of water real quick. All right, we're going to work on the neck and shoulders as well as those wrists today, okay, and those forearms. So let's do that first. Let's work on the neck and shoulders. We'll take those arms out to the sides. You're going to reach them out. Now you can add a blanket or anything that's good. Make sure you're comfortable in your seat wherever you are, okay? So you can add blankets, pillows, whatever you need. Um, you can even come to a chair for this as well if you need to. All right, so arms out. You're reaching away and down. Shoulders are relaxed, and you're going to release one ear to one shoulder. So as soon as you do that, that opposite shoulder wants to come up. So really make sure that those shoulders stay relaxed and breathe. Inhale, and then exhale nice and slowly. You're gonna drive that chin across the chest to the other side. Good, still reaching those arms out and away. You may touch the mat, you may not. It just depends on the length of your arms. Good. Inhale and then exhale again. You'll drag that chin across the chest, taking a mental note of any tension you feel along the way. If you have, you can continue at your own pace here. If you have a really tight spot that you notice, maybe you hold there for a breath cycle and allow some space to that, for that to relax, relaxing that connective tissue, and then continue along the way. Good. You may also go into full neck circles here, only if that's good for you and your neck. So be very, very mindful of the neck here. Good. And make sure, of course, you're going in both directions. And nice, slow, and controlled. Good. Take your time. Eventually, when you're even, make sure you're nice and even, meeting me with the chin towards the chest. Good. And I want you to relax the muscles behind the head. Allow the head to slightly hang, getting the chin as close to the chest as you can. Good. Go ahead and release those arms, taking the hands behind the head. If you want more here, you'll gently press the head forward, pressing that chin closer to the chest. Just be mindful of your neck here. It's only if you feel like you need more. Now keeping the hands where they are, nice and safely, lift the head. Good, seated nice and tall, so elbows are open nice and big. And now what you're going to do is you're going to, this is of course again, only if you want more here, you're going to press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. So you kind of feel the muscles in between the shoulder blades start to activate. Good, you can also go into a little bit further here into a slight back bend, taking the head back slightly, chest open and up towards the ceiling. That is just an option. Breathe. And then nice and gently come back into that tall seat and nice and easy release those hands. Woo. Give you some single shoulder rolls one side at a time. Good. And then single shoulder rolls forward other direction. Good. Just about four times or so. 
Beautiful. All right, if you are seated crisscross applesauce, go ahead and switch those legs for me so that way we're nice and even. All right, and now we're going to work on those wrists and forearms. So what I want you to do, I want you to create a fist. Either side is fine. We're going to do both sides. And you're going to bend at that wrist the best you can, okay? So you're going to already feel some opening happening behind the wrist, right? Behind the uh, down into the forearm. So keep the bend as best you can, okay? And then I want you to add some self-massage here. So you can massage down the forearm, but keep the bend of that wrist. You can also add some massage circles if that feels good. So what we're doing here initially is basically we're, with that bend in the wrist, we're kind of cutting off the blood flow a little bit. So once we release, it's really going to be kind of like that tourniquet effect and add some, get some good new blood flow, new oxygenated blood into that, into that wrist and into that hand. Good. So from here, nice and gently release, palm towards me. You can bring the elbow into the side, make sure the shoulder stays relaxed, and you're going to reach those fingers towards the elbow. Yep. If you want more, you're gently going to press those fingers back. Now, well, as soon as we press, those shoulders kind of want to come up. Relax. I'm down. <laughs> I know because I do it too. <laughs> All right. Gently pressing back. Good. And then gently release and go ahead and stretch out each finger. Nice and easy. And don't forget the thumb. And then you can also add a little self-massage into that palm and into that meaty part of the thumb here. There's a pressure point in there too that can help release some tension for you. And then I want you to go ahead and pinch each fingertip. Just a nice little gentle pinch. Good. And then some fist release. Oh, feels so good. All right, other side. Create a fist. Bend up that wrist. Feel that stretch already happening. And then add some self-massage to that forearm. Good. You can just go straight down or, and, and, or uh, massage circles. Whatever feels good to you here, just try to keep the bend of that wrist the best you can. Feels so good. You didn't know you were going to get some self-massage today, did you? <laughs> All right. When you're ready, gently release that palm towards me. Relax those shoulders, reaching those fingers towards the elbow. And then if you decide you want more, you gently press. Yep. Good job. Beautiful. Relax those shoulders. They always want to come out and play. And gently release. And then you'll stretch out each finger nice and easy. Good. And then, of course, you can add that massage to the palm. Don't forget that meaty part of the thumb. And then you can kind of uh, pinch the tips of the fingers. Also, make sure you stretch out those fingers if you didn't already. Good. Fist release. Oh, feels so good. Yes, like they're going to just float away. <laughs> All right, my friend. Nice and easy. Come on. To bring those legs out in front, we're going to lay it on down. We're going to Finish with a little bit more Pilates and then we'll cool it down and stretch it out, okay? All right, come on now. All right, make sure that head, that neck is nice and long. And then gradually bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. All right, we are going to come into our single straight leg stretches. So we're going to take that right leg up to the sky. You're going to straighten the leg the best you can. Hold on to the calf or if you have to, the thigh. Left leg out nice and long along the mat. Now, if you're able, you're going to come up into that Pilates C curve, bring the head up, hold on to that leg. Now, inhale, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale, six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Rest the head, bring those knees in, hug it out. We're going to do this single leg, straight leg stretch on the other side. <sighs> All right, C curve, left leg up this time, right leg out nice and long, inhale, exhale, switch, good, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful job, bring those knees in, rest the head, Woo, hug it out, beautiful job. Coming into a spinal twist, so let's bring that right knee in, left leg out nice and long, taking that left hand to the outside of that bent thigh, and gently bring that knee, that bent thigh across the body, nice and easy, take your time, right arm out, T position, eye gaze can follow, and take a nice deep breath, settle in, relax the glutes, 
relax the lower back, and relax that face. Nice deep breaths in the nose and out the nose. Settling in here. Good. One more deep breath. And nice and gently untwist. Take your time all the way back. Bring those knees into the chest. Hug it out. And then we'll do our spinal twists on the other side. Left knee in, right leg out nice and long. Right hand to the outside of that bent thigh and gently bring that bent thigh across the body. Left arm out, T position, IVA to the left. Beautiful. <sighs> nice deep breaths, relax the glutes, relax the lower back. And release that tongue from the roof of the mouth. Good job. One more deep breath. And nice and safely come back to center. Take your time. Bring those knees into that chest and hug it out. All right. Coming into our happy baby, taking those knees out towards the shoulders. Flex feet towards the sky and gently pulling down those thighs, ankles, or feet. Just making sure the shoulders stay on the ground and the neck is relaxed and nice and long. Good. You're actively pulling downward. If you want more here, if you need some extra for the hips, you can actually simultaneously push the heels up. So you're doing a push pull here. Same thing, it's kind of like that tourniquet effect. We're cutting off a little bit of blood flow to those hips. And when we release, we get some new oxygenated blood into that area. So just an option. Feel free to rock side to side. That feels good. You have the option here too to go into a straight legged stretch if you'd like. You can extend the legs straight. You can hold on to the feet or the legs wherever you can reach comfortably. You can also open and rock here as well. But if that's not for you today, that's fine. You can hang out and have your baby for a couple more breaths. Mm. Good. Beautiful job. If you did go into that straight legged stretch, nice and gently come back into your happy baby. And then we're going to release that happy baby. We're going to release those feet up to the sky, feet up, arms up, waterfall pose here. <clears throat> feet up, arms up. Yes, add some uh, wrist and ankle rotations if you'd like. Just a little reversal of blood flow it really helps with inflammation in the body. And not only inflammation that we think of, right, like in the muscles or whatnot. There's other inflammation that happens within our bodies, even around the the organs and stuff. So this is really good. You can get another uh, forearm stretch if you want another one. You can even stretch out those fingers again. Or maybe the knees need some love today. Maybe massage the knees. You can even massage down the thighs if you want. I sometimes I'll create fists and do some little love tacks on those thighs. As long as you try to keep the arms up, feet up. All right, one more deep breath, and nice and slowly lower those feet down to the mat, arms down to your sides, and then you're gonna let those knees fall out to the sides, bottoms of the feet come together. Now, if you do have those blocks or pillows, you can add one underneath the feet for extra elevation if you want it. Settle in in the bottom half, make sure you're comfortable, and then take those arms up overhead, and bring them into those field goal arms. Supine bound angle pose here. <sighs> We're just gonna settle in. Allow the chest and the heart to open. Allow those hips to open and relax. Release the tongue off the roof of that mouth again. Good. Let his peace wash over you. Breathing in the nose. 
nose and out the nose, settling into that mat again. Settling in the space, clearing the mind. And just take a few moments here to reflect on your practice. How did you do today? How does the body feel physically? How do you feel emotionally, mentally, and spiritually after moving the body? Moving the body in the body, right? In the body of Christ. So thankful, always thankful. There's always something to be thankful for. Today, thankful for those able bodies. Thankful for his peace. Good job. When you're ready, nice and safely, you're gonna release those arms down to your sides to help those knees back up together and then bring those knees back into the chest one more time. Give yourself a nice big hug. You can also, you have the option to release the forehead towards the knees here, kind of completing your ball. Nice, tight, tight, tight little hug, tight ball. And then release the head down and release those feet down. Now, I'm gonna give you the option here, if there's, <clears throat> excuse me, if there's any poses or postures or stretches that I didn't do today, you're more than welcome to do them here. And then once you're ready, we'll make our way into that final resting pose. So take your time. Notice what the body needs. Maybe some more happy baby. Maybe you want to hang out in that supine bound angle a little bit longer. <clears throat> and just check in with the body. Notice how it feels as you settle into the mat, noticing the feet and the ankles, noticing the legs. Getting all the wiggles out, noticing the knees, the thighs, noticing the glutes, the hips, maybe even shimmy those hips, side to side, forward and back. Shoulders down and back, arms out nice and long, wherever they feel most comfortable. Neck is nice and long. Find the crevice in the base of the skull. And just rock that head a little bit side to side. Good. Ah, settle in. <clears throat> nice deep breaths. In the nose, out the nose. If you practice Ujjayi breath, you can practice that here. Let's do that at least three or four times. Basically, it's a restriction of the exhale. So, kind of like you're trying to fog up a window. You're still breathing in and out the nose, but you restrict the air on its way out. Inhale. Making sure to exhale out all your air. Let's do that about two or three more times. Eventually making your way into your natural breath cycle. In and out the nose, if you can, of course. And settling into that mat. Practicing stillness the best that you can. Come back to that initial intention that you set. Come back to that initial prayer. Just take some time to just be. Be still. Be you to allow his peace to wash over you. here. 
not so relaxed that you would fall asleep. Go right up to that clip. Relaxing the muscles around the eyes. You're going to remain still. And all you're going to do is think about the body part that I list off. We'll do it fairly quickly, and all you're going to do is just think about that part. Starting at the toes, feet, heels, ankles, shins, calves, knees, top of the thighs, bottom of the thighs, inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes, hips, belly, lower back, mid back, upper back and shoulders, arms, elbows, forearms, wrists and hands, fingers, chest, neck, jaw, face, forehead, Thinking about the heart, feeling the body as a whole, mind, body, spirit, and soul. And gently start to wiggle those fingers and toes, feeling rejuvenated, revived, squeeze and release, point and flex like you're just waking up first thing in the morning, rotate those wrists. Maybe you do one of those big good morning stretches again, lengthening the body. And then exhale, you can bring those feet to the mat. Maybe you take those feet wide and hammock sway side to side. Feeling joy in the body, feeling peace. And eventually making your way into a fetal position on your favorite side. Take your time. You can rest the arm underneath you and hug those knees into that chest. Eyes are closed, lifting the corners of your mouth, feeling thankful, right? There's always something to be thankful for. I'm going to end our practice in a prayer here. Lord, thank you so much for meeting us where we are. Whether we are walking in the valley or facing a mountain ahead, we know we are not alone. And we want your peace to wash over us when those things do happen, Lord. We want you to be a part of our lives every little bit, every little step of the way. We want you to be a part of it. Even when we're practicing yoga, moving our bodies on the mat, Lord, it's for you. May our movement, may our steps not be in vain. May they always be towards you, Lord. May you continue to guide our steps each and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Nice and gently. Press yourself up into a simple seated position, whatever that looks like for you. If you happen to open the eyes, just close the eyes back down. Seated tall, corners of the mouth lifted, smiling, palms up. <sighs> a position of accepting, receiving peace. Just breathe. Notice how you feel in this position. Again, Colossians 3.15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Inhale, take those arms up overhead. Eye gaze up, slowly opening up the eyes, bring the hands together and down through the heart center, sealing our practice together today, my friends. Namaste, God bless you all, and thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed practice just as much as I did today. Thank you.